Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and I am developing a CRUD application using Bootstrap 5, PHP, Oop, PDO, MySQL and Fetch API of ES6. In previous video, you have seen that how I have added edit any record functionality. Now today in this video, I am going to show you how to delete any record when we click on these delete buttons. Okay. So for this, open your project. Now this is our project. Okay. So here, what I will do is I will send another Ajax request to the server for delete a user. Okay. But before doing this, first open action.php file. Here in this part, I will add a class to this anchor tag, this delete anchor tag. Okay. So here I will write delete link. Okay. Save this. Now come to main.js file. From here, we will send, oh, sorry, we will uh, run and click event on T body. Okay. Similarly, like this. So just copy this and paste here just change edit to delete sorry delete user ajax request and here we will change this a uh, class to delete link okay save this now all will be same just remove this and just use console log and just pass id here okay now come here refresh open console now now when i will click in this button then let's see what happens okay so nothing is happening let's clear the cache first okay so just clear the cache and then refresh after that click on any delete button now you can see the id of that particular record is showing here okay when you click on this delete button then you can see the id is displaying in console okay so it so we are getting id dynamically from here uh, from this id attribute okay now we will send uh, this id this id to the server and then we will uh, match with the database and delete that uh, that row only okay so for this uh, what i will do is just remove this console log and here i will define a function okay so here i will use const delete user okay and this will be a, an asynchronous function so here i will use async keyword okay and then uh, here i will pass id and then inside this i will use fetch api okay so for this i will use const data sorry data equal to uh, await and then fetch now i will send the request to this action.php file okay along with some key value pair so here i will write delete equal to one and and id equal to actually here i will use backtick because i will use string literal inside this so here I will use ID okay now I will use method get okay so here I will write method get okay now we have to we have to get response in any constant so just use const response sorry equal to await and then I will use data dot text okay for now I am just using console log to display the response okay now in action.php file we have to handle this ajax request okay so go to action.php file and here what i will do is just come here and first write a comment handle sorry handle delete user ajax request okay and here i will use if each set and then i will use super global variable get and then here i will write delete okay delete and then i will uh, store the id in this id variable and here i will again use super global variable get and then here i will pass id okay now here i am checking id because you can see here i am sending this delete key with value 1 and i am sending this id key with value 
id okay and this id will be come from here and we will pass this uh, function here in this event okay so just use delete user and just use id okay so this id is coming from this okay actual uh, argument now save this go to xn.php file and here what i will do is let's check that uh, id is coming to server and that id is returning to the uh, client or not so here we can just use echo and just write id okay so just refresh and click on delete now you can see we are again getting six five it means our uh, our this uh, if a statement is also working fine now next what i will do is i will have to define a method in db.php file to delete a user from database okay so come here and here what i'll do is delete user from database okay and here i will define a method public function delete and here i will pass id okay now in sql query i will write delete delete from users table where sorry where id equal to id okay and then i will i will declare a statement variable using this keyword i will access con variable and then prepare then pass sql okay next we have to execute this statement so just use execute method and inside this we have to bind the id variable okay so just bind and then use return true okay now we can use this method inside this action.php file okay so here we can use if a statement and then using db object we can call this delete method and then pass actual argument here okay and then we can simply display some success message and we can use util util uh, object and then we will call this so message method and here we will use success actually we can use info okay and then here we can write some message like user deleted successfully okay and if any if something went wrong then we can display some error message like danger and something went wrong okay save this now go to browser refresh okay now let's try to delete this first record okay so click on delete now you can see uh, we are getting this alert bootstrap alert here in html format okay and uh, when we refresh this page then the record has been deleted okay now what i will what i want here is when we click on delete button then first we will display the uh, success message here that the user is deleted successfully and we also want that uh, without page refresh the record ha have to be removed from this uh, this table also okay so for this let's come here to main.js file and here what i will do is just remove this console log and here we will call sorry fetch all users method that i have already defined okay and for the message uh, i will use alert so alert and then i will use in inner html equal to response okay save this now go to your browser refresh now delete any record now you can see user deleted successfully and you can see uh, the user is also removed from here without page refresh okay so this is all about how to develop a crud application using bootstrap 5 php oop video mysql and page api of es6 so if you liked this whole series then please hit the like button and share this video and also subscribe this channel